Well, I've heard of sun showers. I've never heard of a sun snowstorm, though. That's a new one on me. Good morning, Spanks. Welcome to another fishing adventure with Trout Spankins. Today, we are down on beautiful Cape Cod, fishing in a lake I have never fished before in my life. The only thing I know about it is about 20 minutes of research I did last night looking it up online after finding out that it had been stocked with brook trout. So, this pond is a natural kettle hole pond, way, way up at the tippy top tip of the Cape. It's 109 acres, has an average depth of 31 feet and a maximum depth of 64 feet deep. It's a perfect round shaped pond it has a little little tiny river type deal you can see right behind me that connects to a smaller kettle pond and that kettle pond has a small river that runs all the way across Cape Cod from the ocean side to the bay side and empties out in the, the harbor aside from being stocked with brown brook and rainbow trout this pond also is supposed to have good smallmouth and largemouth but the main thing is the small pond in the back that connects to this pond that they stock that river has a run of herring that comes up here it says alewife it says there's an annual run of alewife that comes into this pond so any trout or bass in this pond have the potential to get really big if they're feeding on herring fry. The bottom of the pond is mostly sand, not much vegetation, so should be a good pond for holdover trout. 64 feet deep uh, with an average depth of 31 feet. It's a deep pond. Gonna throw some pantomot and spinneroonies and see if we can't catch some stalker brook trout or hopefully maybe even some holdovers. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna shut my mouth and uh, let's get to fishing. Oh, by the way, it's uh, clear, sunny skies, winds blowing about 20 miles an hour. That should counteract the fact that this pond has a uh, visibility of up to 25 feet. So it's a very clear water pond. Yeah, the wind blowing pretty hard should help out a little bit, break up the visibility. Gonna be fishing right next to the little stream that connects the two ponds should be a good place i mean if herring move into this pond this would be the entrance way for them to move in so any fish trying to stalk them should be right out on this little flat here so yeah let's uh let's try to spank some truths Poo. Nice buck trout. Cool deal. Took a little while, but got one. Calm down and let me get these hooks out your mouth. You'll be back to eating mosquito larva in just a few seconds. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down, bud. Calm down. There you go. Excellent. Well, nice little brook trout. Not as big as the ones I was catching at the uh, hometown pond, but just as pretty. All right, cool deal. Nice little stalker brook trout. Hey, 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 chill out. Chill, chill, chill. I'm letting you go, brother. 
the other way. <laughs> and that way. Off he goes. The wrong way. <laughs> Just like when they stalked him. Go back out to deep water, bub. Goofball. Got the skunk off my back. Fish in a pond I've never fished before. This pond over here has the herring run inside of it, and this is the little ditch that connects the two ponds. And uh, yeah, he was right out here feeding on insects or herring fry or whatever he was feeding on. Hit the little spinner rooney. See if we can catch a couple mo. Man, there's a lot of birds out there. I bet you there's a ton of trout out there. Be up shallow over on the other side of this little trough. Another brookie, cool. This one's got some nice color to it. Kind of scrawny, but nice colors. Another one on the spinner. the feet again. Why do they all do that? Sitting right at my feet. <laughs> Goofy stalkers. Yep, he'll probably just sit right there for a couple minutes and watch me try to get my uh, Panther Martin out of my back. Oh, thank God it came out easy. Imagine if I just caught him again. Sitting right here. You, you okay, buddy? Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Back off to the deep. Two brookies in a short amount of time. Not bad. Start off with the all black with red dot panther mountain. Himself. Cool. <laughs> Good boy. Nice little rainbow. bomb them and leave me the hell alone. Oh, 
nice little brookie not very big but cool looking one That's good, distract the owl. He sees my bitch ass here, he'll dive bomb me, but if he hears you, he'll come to you first. All right, Spanx, back in the trout cave. That's gonna wrap up the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Went down cave, fished a new pond, caught two brookies, came back home, caught a rainbow and a brookie. Nothing too crazy about this video. The only thing I did notice, after going over the footage. That first brookie I caught looked like it could have been a holdover. It had some pretty long fins. I didn't see any fins that were clipped. I didn't even see any fins that looked like they were deformed from rubbing up against the side of the pen, so. That fish might have been a holdover. It was also really, really light colored compared to any other brookie I've ever caught. I mean, it was pale, so. Could have been a holdover. Might have came out of deep water. With the herring run in the pond, who knows? Could have even been a salt run brook trout. Maybe it went out to the the ocean. I kind of doubt it, but it's possible. Not likely, but possible. I would say it was probably a holdover either way. Yep, that's about it. The water in that pond was also as clear as bath water, so that could be another reason why it was very light colored, but like I said, the fins were pretty long and looked pretty good, so could have been a holdover, and I didn't even notice it until after letting it go and looking at the footage. Hope to see you on the next one. Keep on spanking them.